Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I was originally planning to show you my Sputnik analog today, but um dun 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 Yeah. So anyhow, this is an SR seventy one, except you know, not quite, but whatever, it's close enough. Let's just take off with it already. For some reason, the wheels really like to stick to the runway, you know? Don't know what's up about that, but they really love to stick to the runway. Anyhow, we take off pretty quickly. I'm gonna set the trim just a little bit. Now just a little bit more. Get us up going higher. Take a look from the cockpit. Oh yes, it's perfectly like every other cockpit ever. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Ram intakes and jets in general are just so OP in the game now. Also, you may think I'm pitching up a bit too much. Well, you might not. You might, you might not. Either way, it's not a problem. And, uh... Or maybe it is. Huh. We're about to go vertical. Right, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll fight my, uh, trim. I set my trim up pretty high to get us going up. But it turns out it makes me want to turn all the way over. See, you have to set the trim really high pulling up on this thing once you get to altitude. Although, getting up there, it seems to, uh, not like that idea so much. Anyhow, this thing, uh, this thing actually loves to fly at, uh, just under 20,000, uh, meters. I was about to say kilometers, that would have been totally wrong. Maybe I've set the trim way too high on this, this time, because it is just not being my friend right now. Because we're about to, yeah, we're gonna, ooh, I barely cut the engines in time then. Because, uh, we, we were just about to lose the engines. Crap. Come on, stay on target. <laughs> stay on target. Yeah, so, I decided to make an SR-71, or at least similar to an SR-71. I call it the SR-71. It looks a bit like an SR-71. I know it's not, but, damn, we are high. Look at that. 30,000. Entirely by accident. Um... Of course, we're dropping speed very fast now. It's very unstable once you get this high with no power. It's normally a very stable craft, but once you take it where it's not meant to go, aka above 20,000 meters, um, it's not your friend anymore. So, yeah, I made it with glitching parts just a little bit, but otherwise it's fine. Sorry about that momentary uh, interruption. It's the middle of the night. Well, actually, it's 2 a.m. I'm actually recording this on the same day I'm posting it. Just, it feels like the day before because to me, it might as well me, might as well me be what? I can speak honest. Wow, what, look how far we've gone already. Yeah, that's what happens when you start getting up to like orbital speed almost. I love how overpowered everything is in this update. Yeah, so... Unfortunately, we, uh... Can't really turn on the engines again yet. Because we're still too high up. I just need to remember where is a good spot to set the trim on this thing. Because obviously what I was doing a moment ago wasn't it. Alright, there we go. Yep, those things will catch right away. Unfortunately, we are going down at quite a high speed, so it's going to take a while to pull out of this. Wow, look at the speed we gained going down just then. It's freaking re-entry speeds we got up to there. Hmm... I think if heat physics, like re-entry physics, were implemented right now, uh, we might have just burned up. Yeah. 
I'm going to try and get to stable flight in this thing because I wanted to show you stable flight in it. Like right now, this is relatively stable. Not pushing any buttons, it's staying relatively stable. Pulling up just a little bit, but I'm fine with that. As long as we don't pull up as much as we did last time, because that was disastrous. Let's see, roughly 100 meters per second going up. I'm fine with that. Oh look, we're looking out the left window. Let's look at this. Yeah, about 100 meters per second. Oh, we're turning. Of course, we're way too high up for the radar to show anything. Watch that speed just start going up and up. And up. I love how in the cockpit we're just pointed at space. Oh, oh, nope. Don't pull up anymore. Okay, Alt WWW. See, we gotta find that sweet spot of. Okay, Alt X. Gotta find that sweet spot of not pulling up too much. Ah, uh, because we're gonna we're gonna stall if we're not careful. And I was hitting keys, the wrong keys. Right, we need to stop going up. Actually, we're still getting pretty good intake right here. Yeah. Oh, nope, it's gonna ah whew, that was close. Started to lose it there a little bit. Basically, um, whenever you do lose power on the engines like that, you lose power on one engine before you lose it on the other. So, it starts putting you going side to side like that. Or, well actually it starts spinning you in one direction because you'll have your engines fire on and off in a sequence like that. Alright, now, before we start falling too far, let's get this pitch set. Oh, oh, oh. See, might be about right, might not. I want to pull it up just a little bit more because we're uh, still going down. We don't want to be going down. Okay, stop going down. Seriously, stop it. That's another problem when you're getting when you're getting this high of speeds. Uh, the thing don't really turn, you know. It just don't really turn. It's really weird. Okay, when I wasn't recording, I got this thing flying perfectly at uh, 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 19 kilometers up, just uh, pretty much staying on target, staying nice and easy to fly. And then I start recording, and all of a sudden, it's like I forgot how to fly this thing. I'm just gonna set the pitch to the uh, the trim to the second notch there. See if that helps. Now. If I remember correctly, we should be using fuel out of this first tank and this rear tank. And then next, it should symmetrically dump these tanks, I hope. Uh, if it does, then we're going good. If it doesn't, I, I don't like it. Even at this altitude and this speed, we're still cutting across the planet pretty fast. But yeah, it's... Uh, planes are a pretty viable thing in this version which I'm, I'm liking very much. Of course, like I said, I promised to do more rockets, but um, as you saw in that little clip of uh, what happened to my last uh, launch, yeah, that rocket can get into orbit if you fly it properly. The problem was I was being extremely lazy when I was flying it, so I was just like, you know, doing whatever, and it, it turns out with that design you actually have to be careful about how you fly it, um, whereas I didn't want to be careful about how I flew it, so, yeah, that's what happens when you don't be careful. I think I've demonstrated that plenty of times with, uh, previous flights, previous crashes. Uh, oh, I just noticed we got Jeb in the cockpit. Always, a, always a good test pilot he is. Always a good test pilot he is. Kind of, I kind of want to put this thing in a gradual turn, just because. Oh look, moonrise! What do you know? Hmm. We don't have anything on here that uses uh, power, except apparently landing gear actually have built-in lights. 
I don't get that. I saw that happen on another plane. Uh, yeah, so apparently this these have lights, but they don't really work half the time. I saw them work once, and then I saw them never work again. Uh, like just now, it didn't drain any electric charge, it didn't... I don't even know. Oh yeah, you know how I was talking about getting that stable flight? Well, I think I figured it out. You set the trim to uh, two notches, roughly two notches, and then you just... Actually, I could probably set it up to the third notch. Let me try that. I'm going to set it up to the third notch. I think I just did. Let me... I'm looking closer. I don't know. Can't really see that well. I set it a little higher in in any case. Uh, I'm going to set it a little higher. I wanted to say the third notch the first time, but I was thinking, nah, that can't be right. Well, actually, no. I did set it to the third notch, and then that pulled us up way too high. Anyhow, this is a nice continent we're flying over now. Wow, look at that. It's just like, it almost looks like we're in orbit, like the way it's moving beneath us so fast. So, I'm gonna kinda turn just a little, or am I? I'm not sure. I am, but, you know, I'm turning, but so slowly that I'm not even sure if I'm gonna actually turn or not. Let's go, let's go ahead and look at the map view. Oh, there's a river! Oh, but that's on the other side of the planet. <laughs> that's on the other side of the planet, of course. Um, can this thing make it all the way around the planet? I want to say no, but at the same time, we made it this far on those smaller tanks. Ooh, but it's going to get nighttime where I'm headed, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn. This could get very interesting, depending on how well it actually responds to me turning. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh, shit. <sighs> At least I noticed it before it was too late that time. Yeah, so we're trying to... Come on, stop. Stop tilting up. I'm just very carefully jockeying the uh, yaw controls to stop this, uh, to try to stop this uh, yawing we're having. Yawing? Yawning? <sighs> Sorry for making you lawn with the contagiousness. You know how, you know how that is. Yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and land it here. Should I do that? Should I crash it? Oh yeah, this thing has uh, an avionics package on it. Although I don't know why you'd want that. I don't know, perhaps, perhaps with the avionics package and some trim, you can have this thing hold itself up uh, on autopilot, basically, for a long time. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. I wouldn't know because I don't try such things. Alt-X, clearing the, the pitch trim that we had up there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our fuel. So it's used, we got 112 left and 160 in this one. So it drains symmetrically from this first and this last tank, but then it drains from this forward tank before draining from the rear tank. Personally, I'm fine with that behavior considering the forward tank is uh, forward and the rear tank is I'm pretty sure the center of mass on this thing is right around the very front of the second tank. I'm not sure about that exactly. But yeah, I'm happy with the way this thing performs. You can hear the air wishing by a little bit outside. Ever so slightly. Just go ahead and pitch down. We won't need to pull up for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and set some trim again. Not that much. Just one notch. It feels weird saying notch because, you know, notch? Marcus... Marcus Pearson, is that how you say it? Or... I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. You know, the guy that made Minecraft, obviously. Who else would I be talking about? Your mum? 
Oh, you know what? This is a great time for a step outside and- Oh god! Oh, oh dear, oh dear lord, no. Okay. Right, I may have just killed Jeb. Let's find out. Shit. Um, yeah. Well, they've changed that too then, because it used to be you could take them outside while flying and you'd be fine. Yes! Come on, RCS back on, RCS back on. Oh, come on, come on, RCS back on. Why is it not... There we go. Now, where's our plane? Come on, where... Where'd it go? Did we fall so fast that it, like, unloaded the plane? Like, you know, got rid of it? Oh, wait, nope, it's still there. 1.7, 1.8. It's about to leave range of physics, but it hasn't yet. Oh. 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 Oh, I think it just crashed. Or it left physics range. Yeah, I think it left physics range. If it crashed, we would have heard an explosion, or at least seen an explosion. Yeah, but... Uh, as you can see, Jeb is quite a maniac. He just jumped out of a plane landed and survived and now he seems to be in a swamp of some sort and it submerged a little bit oh what and now the go oh and now he just fell back in uh well that's physics for you just waddling through the ground a bit not a problem thanks for watching etc etc see you in space Wait, that, that wasn't far enough. No, it, it won't scroll far enough. Jeb, why would you do this to me? Cheers!